Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new practice series on Bayesian Nash equilibrium, where we're going to be looking at pure strategies uh, in this context. This is our first example. Let's go. So this is the problem that we're dealing with. Suppose we have the following two player game with imperfect information. Our role player is told about the payoffs of the true game while our calm player is not. He's kept in the dark. Nature picks the sort of game with equal likelihood and the game is played simultaneously by the players. Uh, the payoff matrix in each scenario is going to be the following uh, in each of these cases where we're going to see, uh, you know, the rest of the matrix being zeros in scenario one, except for up and left being two, two. And for scenario two, we're going to have our entire matrix being zeros, except for the down right part, which is going to be four, four. And what we're tasked to do is to find all pure strategy Bayesian Nash equilibrium. So let's see how we do that. So we're going to follow this three-step procedure that you know I laid out over here. Some people may break it down differently. This is just how I'm doing it. Uh, step number one is that we're gonna write the dimensions of a collapsed incomplete information matrix. So we're gonna set it up, you know, a strategic form matrix to go and illustrate our problem. Uh, step number two is that we're gonna fill in our payoffs according to the expected value. Uh, this probability is gonna come from our uh, probabilities for nature. And step number three is that we're gonna use Tick and Bob uh, to find the pure strategy Nash equilibria. So let's work through it. So in terms of solving our problem, we note that our column player, right, is kept in the dark. So he has only the choices between left and right. But our row player, right, he has contingent plans, right? So let's go and try to understand uh, what this means on our left-hand side. So UU means up if we're dealing with game one and up if we're dealing with game two. UD is up if it's game one and down if it's game two. DU is down if it's game one and up if it's game two. And DD is down if it's game one and down if it's game two. Um, this is just goes and shows it over here. Uh, if you know both our players were kept in the in the dark or sorry, uh, both of them were informed we would go and have this other column of LL, LR, RL, RR at the top. But right now we're just going and having, you know, our role player informed, but our column player is not informed. So we're gonna fill in our cells over here according to expected value. So what I did, right, is that I took the expected value for each cell and each payoff there. So, um, I'm just going to show what I did for, uh, you know, this top left uh, cell here. That was basically me just going and taking a conditional uh, expectation or expected utility, right, of uh, our role player uh, contingent on there being left. And it's going to be in one of two different games. So that's where we have our probabilities over here. And for our column player, we're going to follow the same process over here. Now, P here right? That's just our probability assigned by nature. So um, that's what we're going to have to do. And uh, that's what we get our numbers 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, and you know, all that other stuff here. I'm not going to really speak it out. Okay, so step number three is that we're going to use Tick and Bob to find our, all of our pure strategy Nash equilibria. So um, let's say our comp player, you know, picks left over here. Um, so our rose player's best response would be UU and UD. These are equivalent responses. So these are, you know, two equally valid results here. And likewise, if right was picked, um, we would go and have uh, our player picking UD or DD. Again, these are also two equally valid best responses. Now let's look at the perspective of our player here. So let's say UU was picked. So if UU was picked, um, we would go and have uh, one left being picked as a best response. Uh, if UD was uh, an option, we would have right being picked for our column player. DU, right? Now, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but we can just go and knock this one out completely you know let's go use a little bit of a red color here right where we don't even have to go and think about that and that's because this strategy here 
is dominated by uh, UD for our role player. So, you know, that's not something that's going to be considered. So let's go just jump down to if DD is being played right is uh, something that should be played. That's the wrong color. Let's go and use this one here. So our, Na our Bayesian Nash equilibria are UU left, UD and right, and DD and right. And the way we're going to go and write this is going to just going to be shown on the next slide here. And that's what we have over here. So the way we'd write our pure strategy, Bayesian Nash equilibria, is as this nice little compact set over here. Um, compact is, you know, obviously not in, you know, the mathematical sense, but more just like, you know, how it looks nice uh, here. So um, that's how you solve for uh, pure strategy Bayesian Nash equilibria. We'll do another example in the next video. Take care.